I'm George Hansen. I'm a commercial beekeeper in Oregon. And in this particular case, I'm representing uh, the bee industry as a board member on Project Cape of Sam. I'm Danielle Downey, and I'm the executive director of Project Cape of Sam. Project APSM is the largest funder of research uh, behind the federal government in the United States. It's an organization that was founded originally by beekeepers for beekeepers, and although our funding is more diverse than just from beekeepers, it is uh, clearly the intention is uh, to help beekeepers with this research, but you don't just do research. Yeah, so Pam's approach is to fund obviously the things that are most affecting bees, and that's the four P's, parasites, pathogens, poor nutrition, pesticides. Pesticides, it's important. Yes. Pesticides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're focused on those main things that beekeepers are most worried about. We choose our projects that have the most likely chance to provide a, an applied solution that a beekeeper can use. So something that really is what beekeepers would want to, to help them do their work. It's, that's where we put this donated money. But in addition to those research projects, which they can tend to go kind of slow and it's it's risky. If you have one in 10 research projects that really makes a big change, that's, a, that's good. But what we can do right now to really help bees is and better forage back on the landscape. We know that what bees need when they face stress is to get through that next round of brood and keep producing and, and move through. And so giving them good natural forage mitigates all these other stressors. So we have forage projects in California almonds to put blooming cover crops around almonds. And we have a project in the upper Midwest that supports honeybees, native bees, butterflies, and birds and all kinds of wildlife because of the way the seed mixes are developed to have all of these collateral benefits. So we're really excited about the forest projects and the research. Yeah, we can't be everywhere doing everything, so we have to target uh, up clearly 85% uh, or more of all the commercially run bees in the United States end up in California and almonds. So that's a target area and almonds, uh, have, you know, when they're blooming, that's great, but before and after it is an absolute desert for pollinators. And so forage projects that go outside of that bloom period are really, really important. And then the upper Midwest gets 65 or 70 percent of the commercial bees in the summer for honey production. So that's another place to target because it has the most chance of having impact. So those are, that's the reason we're there and it is expanding. It started out with just a few states and now it's up to 11 plus California, and uh, so it, it is growing as the project grows. When you see a project presented, you'll probably notice on the last slide, Project Davis M is funding that project. We really focus on what the beekeepers are interested in, so at conferences like this, uh, the, the applied projects may have funding from them. Um, things like the Sam Ramsey project, finding out that Varroa actually feeds on fat bodies and not hemolymph. That was a, a $20,000 project that really changed the whole landscape of how we think about Varroa. So really important and a great investment. And uh, things like the, the, the tank mixes and almonds, we were able to work with Reed Johnson and the Almond Board of California. When there's something that goes wrong in almonds, the beekeepers reported, we were able to get samples and work together within the industry and with researchers and verify what was causing it and make recommendations working with the almond board about what not to do. And then the next year we saw that practice decreasing. So that's a perfect circle of trying to verify what went wrong and fix it within our own industry. So. We're, we're excited about the collaborations that we have and being able to be a vehicle to have that very relevant, impactful work right now. So that's what Pam is really good at. Fantastic. Where they can find more information about you guys? Our website is projectapsm.org. We're always looking for great proposals and ideas. You can apply for funding for a project uh, or send us your ideas and, and we want that kind of input and feedback and relationship. We're here to serve industry, so help us, let us know what, what you think is important. We would love to have more support from the beekeeping community. Um, I think it's really, really important that the list of donors and contributors include a lot of beekeepers and beekeeping clubs, and not just assume that someone else is going to pay for all this. 
have to contribute to their own way. Yeah, that's right. Often when I approach corporations or um, people for funding that are not in beekeeping, they want to know are the beekeepers also doing their share? Are they, what are they doing to help themselves? Because we're asking uh, Costco, we're asking almond growers, we're asking a lot of corporations for money and they want to also know that beekeepers are, are in this game and supporting the research that serves them. So we, we appreciate the support and we're very grateful and we hope we can do more good work with your support. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.